Hello team and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. I am Taliban and today we are going to be getting ourselves a little bit more stuff as we kind of move forward. Whoop. Oh, a down vest? I forgot inside these crates is actually like good stuff. Okay, so here's my clothing. I want to wear the parka. Underneath that, wear... Yeah, there we go. Put on an extra pair of socks. They make you move slower. The game tells you about this kind of concept is that it, um... You can only carry a certain amount of stuff. I keep forgetting that I'm not allowed to jump. I keep, like, that's why you see the, the wheel come up, the selection wheel, every once in a while. Um, I'm trying to select a way to actually, um, a jump. As silly as that is. Okay. Alright. That's where we were, all the way down there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Sorry, that's just screenshot material. We're gonna grab that real quick. So temperature is falling rapidly. I'm gonna pick up and move on here. I just wanted to investigate the last little bits of the crash site. Oh, and stick sticks are helpful. They burn. Did you know that, guys? Sticks burn. Rest that wrist. Ooh. Get worse. Okay. I'm going to break this down real quick. Anything left from it? No, we just got the wood out of it, I think. She definitely passed through here. Ooh. Needed okay, hurry. story. Yep. A little bit of cloth. Got stabbed on a tree. Is there anything can help you escape bad weather or dangerous predators? Are there predators around? Hmm. Don't know if I like that very much. Can't feel my hands. That's a problem there, sir. We should probably take a look at that. Alright, let's put down a fire then. Wood, newspaper, cedar, fuel. Uh, let's go and do stick. Newspaper, sure. Fingers crossed it works, fingers crossed. If you start like enough fires, I think the game actually does give you like a skill boost. I just don't know how many it is or how long I have to do that for. Well, that didn't work. Well, that's a problem. Let's get that going again. Try again. See, that's why I also use this stick, because it uses a match. I think sometimes, depending on where it actually fails in the fire starting, you lose the actual input to the fire as well. Which only makes sense, right? You have to light a match and kind of goes, come on, fingers crossed. Come on. Let's get it. There it is. Add fuel. Reclaimed wood stick. There we are. We don't need it for all that long. We just need enough to get ourselves back up and on our way. Oh. See, there's lots of these that I need to make sure I read at some point. Because, like, that's a lot of good info. A lot of flavor text. Your blood loss will kill you unless you stop it. A simple cloth bandage might save your life. Use the crafting menu. Oh, I do have a granola bar. Oh, we're just going to eat that. Definitely gonna eat that. What about drink? And drink that on up. The nice thing is they always only drink what you need. Doesn't actually. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit more fuel to this. Stick. There we go. Now we can wait an hour. Camp activities right here. Wait one hour. Nice, nice. I don't know why it woke us up early. Okay, snag a stick or two. Branch, stick, 10 minutes, sure. That'll give us 21 minutes of fuel, I think. Yep, add fuel, stick, one, two, three. Get a little bit more heat in us. Wait a part of an hour. Here we go. Fire's about to go out. And we're moving on. We just gotta keep moving at this point. You spend too long in one spot, you run out of the rest of the resources trying to get up the one that you were getting the first time around. Is that another stick? It's a regular stick. Because I am gonna have to start another fire here. 
And I have to hopefully do it before I run out. Okay. Weapons. Rock. Oh, I have a sprained wrist still? Oh, that's super unfortunate. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. So I don't think the game actually requires you... Someone's been here recently. Campfire. Could it have been Astrid? Maybe. We don't know. Ah! ah. Okay. Wait, so how bad is the sprained wrist? Recovery time, two hours. It's all I would have to wait through. Should we wait? Should we try and get a rabbit for some food? Oh, see there, she, she's she been through here. If I remember right, we do go, and if they kept the same, which is all what this is predicated on, um, they have us encountering, like, a wolf up ahead, which makes me want to try and get our character. Feet. You're not that cold. Yeah, I guess you are kind of that cold. We're out in the middle of the open. All little bunny, bunny prints right there. Actually, that looks... That's not rabbit prints, actually. <laughs> if that's what the game has the rabbit print set as, I guess actually that kind of is. Maybe a little bit. Those aren't reminiscent of any rabbit prints I've ever seen. Ooh, is it easier to start at a site like this? Hopefully. I'm gonna need to find more matches at some point too. So I'm mainly doing this, starting a fire, in order to allow my character enough time to heal that wrist so I can s pitch a couple uh, rocks at some rabbits. Add fuel. It. Okay, there we go. Hour 31. Definitely gonna need some more of this. Oh boy, that's cold. That's cold, that's cold. Oh, no. I think we just did ourselves wrong here. Okay, no, we're, we're good. We're good. I was worried there for a sec. Stick. One, two, three. Now we're going to wait one hour, which we do have time for. There we are. Come on. Two of two hours. All right. I mean, we we can keep going. We can we can make this happen. I can wait a little bit. Wait through one. How we doing? How are we looking? Come on. We got to be getting close. I could eat any. Grab this. I know you're getting tired there, bud. I wish I had food for you. I really do. <coughs> okay, so... How many meds do I have? That's my next question. Painkillers, I've got six of them. Let's just get this out of the way. <sighs> Yeah, painkillers, they, they help you heal. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it's becoming daytime as well. Whoop. Nope, that didn't hit him. Nope. Oh, come on, come on, come on. And no, that really didn't hit either. Okay. This might be a little bit longer of a pro- Oh boy, do you see that thing freak out? You're right there. I fell way below. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you stopping? Ah, come on. There's so many of them up there. Look at them all. Look at all that food. Did that one work? Oh, almost. Oh, come on. Ah, get him, get him, get him. Oh, am I out of rocks? Oh, boy. Oh, he was right there and he was sitting. I think you can also actually sneak up on him. So I might do that. 
just to see if I can get a good shot on him. Stop moving and then creep up on him. Okay, let's see if I can find him real quick. Actually, check on the fire first. How's our fire doing? One hour, 22 minutes left. Okay, so there's that one. We'll start creeping. We're slither snaking our way. Slither slathering. Okay, he's watching. He's looking. He's freaking out. Okay, line up the center of the screen. Did that get him? No, he ran away. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait. Re-identify a target. Okay, there's two of them over here. Maybe if I miss one, I could get the other. Or we could get two bunnies with one stone. Did that... Ah, that sent him scurrying. Stone. Stone. Okay, there he is. He's coming right for us. Did that get him? Oh, no. No. Is this interesting enough? Hunting rabbits with stones? Okay, so he's right there. Come on. Oh, I didn't quite make it. He's freaking out. Okay, there he is. Now stop moving. Oh, he stopped running. Shh. Oh, man, I thought I had him that time. Oh, yes! Okay, as terrible as that sound is, we got him. I mean, survival of the fittest, right? I was able to hit him with my uh, my stone. I got him. Okay, you, Mr. Rabbit, are also going to be hopefully my dinner part of it at least. No, nope. get back here. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, he's right there. Ah, oh, God. They do stop running pretty quick, though. Like, I will say, like, check that out. He's, he's, like, right there. So now if I line up the shot, get nice and close. There we go. Now we got him. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Ooh, that is... God, they make it very visceral, don't they? Okay, back to... Back to cook these up. Back to cook these up. Yep. Campfire. Add some fuel. Reclaimed wood. We don't need to be carrying all this around. Cook. So I think we have to prepare the rabbits first for using. So crafting menu. Uh, maybe. So rabbits. Yeah, harvest. So now I can get that. Get out all the gut as well. Okay. Okay, now that, that's causing us to starve, so thereby... Whoa, that got bright out. Cook up the raw meat. So now that's cooking over there. Why, why is this hue? <laughs> why is this hue? I wonder if it's because I'm starving? 32 minutes until that's ready. So if it's 32 minutes, I'm going to see if it'll let me harvest up the other rabbit that I have. Rabbit here, harvest that. That would take 20 minutes to get half a kilogram. 40 minutes for that. 15 minutes for that. We'll harvest this. Fingers crossed that the meat's not gone bad. 13 minutes until ready. Fuel reclaimed. There we go. 12 minutes, 11 minutes. <coughs> I'll collect up a couple more to eat. stones. We're almost there, bud. We're almost there. Food is on its way. Eight minutes until ready. What's, what, what was that? What was that? Is there a moose or something? Okay, we should just actually stick close to the fire. Five minutes left. Add some fuel. Alright. 
Ooh, spooky. Oh, you see that moss over there hanging off that tree? That's old man's beard. I think uh, that's a very vital. Um, it'll help us when we need to rely more on the land than on just the uh, stuff that we've picked up. Okay, so this fire... We'll keep the rabbit with us, because I think I kept it in my inventory. Yeah, it's still got some usable meat and stuff left in it. We need a journey on. We need to keep moving. Can I catch you by hand? Nope. Not effectively, at least. Astrid, where did you go? Where did you go? Okay, I can just grab this like this. Take it. Yeah, reduce infection. So, it's helpful. Old man's beard like it. Or old man's like a beard. Not sure which. See, that's a wolf. You can just barely see it in the center of the screen. Now the game should tell us about it, I think. Game, you gonna tell me anything about it? Or am I just left to wonder for myself about how terrible it is? Can I get out of my rocks? Can I throw a rock at it? See, that's a bad idea, but I'm really tempted to. We're gonna save the game. I'm not gonna be playing this on hardcore. <laughs> if I die, I, oh. I'm gonna restart. Is that a wolf? Yeah. Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Okay, so I'm gonna just stand up, keep moving. Ouch. I just shouted that out loud to the whole world. Okay, Wolf's having a good dinner. Wolf's having some din-din. That's all any of us can really ask for, isn't it? At the end of the day, a little bit of din-din. Okay, we made it past that point. Wolf's not coming it's after us. My head feel thick. That's not a good thing. Maybe you should have a... Ooh. Looks like some kind of radio tower. It must be closer to civilization than I thought. Ah, that's a good thing. We'll head right on over there. Uh, yes, please, climb down. Don't let me fall off it. And we're down. I don't know how he's using his hand that's, like, had a sh piece of shrapnel through it. Even then, too, he's, like, super metal about it. Am I really that cold right now? Oh, boy. I better get a fire started. We'll start over here next to these. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here's a good spot. And fire. Oh, I need tinder. Ooh, now we're in danger. Definitely in danger. Okay. Radio tower. Let's just cruise on up to this thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, those are ravens. Ravens be bad news. So cold. Yep. You're freezing. Got it. And come on. So now this is actually definitely different. Oh. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. Great. Oh, there's a corpse. Maybe I can find help. Painkillers, empty corpse. There's nothing. Oh, was that telling me like he OD'd on painkillers and that was that? So I'm dying of cold. My character is definitely dying of cold. We just need to keep moving because I've got nothing to make out of Tinder or anything. We're going to need meds when we get there. So yeah, this this is a little bit different, I think, than I remember, maybe. Maybe I just don't remember the, the, the tower scene that accurately. But I'm thinking once I get into town... Oh, come on. There should be a person who's still around. Look. Smoke. Smoke from that chimney. Yep. That means someone's home. See, and this is this is what we want. This is what we want to go and say hello to. Yeah, you definitely approach this town, I think, hello? from a different angle. Anyone out there? Yeah, that may or may not be the best idea. See, there's a dead person. Wow. Wow. That is a little bit messed up. I do want that tool. Right now, I am dying, but it's important to get your stuff. 
Okay, if the game was trying to get you here... This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yep. Oh, that's kind of messed up. Oh, no. What if she had to kill a person? She, it, yeah. Hello? Yeah. Anybody here? Hey. Hey, wake up. Okay. Oh, wait! Hold your fire! Oh. Get back. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Wait, do I have any controls Why here? Not are none. You here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone yep. who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen. Could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. Yikes. I don't doubt it. Yeah. We're all gone. If you're here. Things must be worse than they thought. Oh, your finger's going right to that magazine. Uh, oh, could I? I'll, yeah, I'll just... Name's Mackenzie, by the way. Oh, that's an interesting way to interact. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. Ah, yes, my hypothermia so risk is gone. I should call Sat you... by the fire for a while. You should call me Grey Mother also. Ah, yes, thank you. So what about the town? Where are we? No. A forgotten no. town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. Yes, I am. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. That's a weird answer. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Are we on Great Bear, though? Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. That sucks. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. That's you. That's you. That's you, grandmother. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. The bad man. <laughs> now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find light. my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My yes. mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others like a dream. Oh, you seem like you're going crazy. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something. That could help you find your friend. Why are you whispering? Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You I'm talking about trouble? the bad men. Trouble. <laughs> trouble found me. I'm just going to keep asking sword. her questions. The bad men. The bad men. The bad men came. I wonder if there's an actual proper enemy Took now. my things. Tried to take my house. 
they thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep asking her questions. Let's keep asking. This is a good Who story. This is a real good story. The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. Night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. Ah, uh, cool. You two are dancing in circles around she each other. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? Hope not. I can't say for sure. Hope not. That'd be bad. Is your friend a survivor? I. Yes. She is. Yeah, there might be hope for her. And there is always hope. Ooh. So I'm going to ask if she hurts, I guess. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Oh, she shot the guy and he crawled out okay. and died in the shed. Well, any idea how we can get out of this gotcha. town? Gotcha. I need to find help. He looked like a prisoner. He was wearing an orange the outfit. closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. Gotcha. You're on your own. We or we could be together. Okay, supplies. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're going to need to find some food and fuel. See, Milton, or neither well, in Milton, through the next Mackenzie's smart. Mackenzie's smart. It's a good idea. Focus on, any idea focus where on the immediate problems. Some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. That's true. It's up to you. Outsider. Uh, to do what? I'll do what I can. But I'll need your yeah, help. Yeah, definitely. There must be somewhere in uh -huh. town to get food, yep. fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Are you in a hurry to find her? Well, of course. Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. Yep, Mackenzie, definitely smart guy. Her. Without gear, Those aviators, I'll I tell you. Make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the night of the lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. I, I certainly... Oh my god, there's so many questions! Holy cow. You keep calling me a mainlander. Well, okay, we're just going to go through all this dialogue it's right what now. You are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? Mm -hmm. You don't really belong here, do you? Not one iota. Okay, but you sound bitter about it. Yep. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities. So what is the collapse? Scars that never heal. It's probably in reference to the... The mainland had become our lifeline, and uh, it was suddenly cut. I think it's an economic and collapse so of some kind. We suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. M I'm Mackenzie, you don't know any of it. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? I mean, they're... Uh, God, that's a complex question. The power seems out all over town. Yeah. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. Well, 
I'm sure someone. What is creaking? Fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can nope. you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. That's a really good point. This goes deeper than just a stillness. Everyone here is dead. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. Wow. Oh my god, this is so dark. What really happened? Oh here? my god. It seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. Yep. They panicked. Yep. Started to talk crazy. Like you. Others A bit. walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were. How does she know all this stuff? Like you. Did people like come in and talk to her? Did anyone see a woman? We've already Brown been over hair, this. Would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it. Possibly injured. Probably injured. There she might have had a spike like right heart. through the chest, like just one pole. She we don't know for alone. sure. There were angry voices and <sighs> But the storm was too bad. Voices? Voices. I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna keep asking about voices now. Before oh, I yeah. was hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? I don't know anything the about it. Gray, misty. gray mother. Gray mother. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I'm sure you are. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. <sighs> a scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. Well, you've always been in darkness. Your I eyes are know. gone. I don't remember. Do you have eyes? It's all or is it snow blindness? Like why? Okay, so I'm gonna ask about empty. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not How would any. she know? After the earthquakes, less. Yeah. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That I cannot say. They climbed into the ground. They went All I know somewhere else. Maybe I, I don't know. Screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. Yikes. Smoke. You mentioned smelling smoke. There's so much dialogue. This is Someone amazing. Here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared. And we're leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Uh, in the middle of that night. Foolish. Plan. Yeah, that's... But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency. Uh-huh. Go to the coast and help will come. Well, that seems terrible. With them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? Oh well, yeah. I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Oh. Never mind. Oh, that seems messed up. Who is Lily? Who is Lily? I'm gonna need to rest soon. Yeah, I wonder if I could like borrow a. Just what I need. The, isn't it called stealing? Okay, so I'm here. I need to eat. Maybe I can cook stuff. Cooking, cook stuff. I don't have anything to cook. I'm literally, probably, possibly going to die right here in front of her. So, I have a rabbit who I'm just going to skin. 
Okay, harvest this up. Oh yeah, I'm coming close to dying. <laughs> oh man. Cook, rabbit, select, and wait till it's ready as I slowly die in front of you. Eat it. Okay. There, I have a little bit of food and some water in me. And unfortunately, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. I think we're going to have to cut it short here. We've been going already a little bit over time. So we got into town. We met Grey Mother. We haven't seen anything of outside. I'll pop outside real quick just to look at it. Just to take a quick look. So this is Milton. We are now in Milton. There's stuff going on everywhere. That's where we found the dead guy. He crawled out. That's how we followed the blood trail. Firewood bin. I know I have to get her firewood. That's from the old, um, like, playthrough that I did on my own. So, yeah, we're here. Here. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I'm going to ignore that screaming there for a minute, whatever that was. And we're ha going to have to say uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of um, The Long Dark, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.